Hello, peoples. It's his little Cherie, and today is day 30 of juicing. I have been juicing for one month, so I wanted to give you an update and let you know what conclusion I have come to. So for 30 days, I have been juicing once a day. I've also really changed the way I've been eating. I was eating healthy, but I just decided to really up my game and focus on eating as as many raw fruits and veggies as possible, as many greens as possible, and just get as much nutrition into me as possible. So I cut out all dairy, and I, um, I really cut back on my meat consumption, and I just tried to get greens, fruit, veggies into me, raw, 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 and eat as much of that as possible. Has it helped? Yes. Most definitely it has helped. I have noticed in a month dramatic difference in my energy level and my mood. Um, cutting out dairy was difficult because, you know, cheese is life. But um, I have found it's made such a difference in certain parts of my body. Um, Let's just say that I was having extreme soreness and weird pains and twinges in um, the chest area. And since I went off dairy, it completely disappeared. Completely. What a change. I mean, that's amazing in itself. But I was also struggling with some um, stomach upset. I'd say off and on for the past year, I would get tightness and bloating and I didn't think it was related to anything specific that I ate. Um, wasn't sure whether it was hormonal or what was going on, but that that really was inconvenient and uh, uncomfortable. But since in the last month, that has completely disappeared as well. I haven't had tightness or bloating at all. Um, you know, they say if you eat too much raw fruit and veggies, salad, whatever that it could cause bloating. Well, it's done the exact opposite for me. When I was eating more processed foods, I was having stomach trouble. And since I've been eating so much raw food, uh, my stomach troubles have disappeared. So energy level, mood, um, soreness, stomach trouble, all of these have improved drastically since I've been eating this way. And so I plan to continue because I'm feeling well. I'm feeling better than I have in a really long time. I mean, some days I've had so much energy, it's frankly, it's scared me a little bit. <laughs> and, um, and I still have had some tired days. I'd say in the month I've had two or three days where I felt tired and um, depressed, but um, overall, I'm I'm convinced, I'm sold, and I'm feeling so good. So I'm gonna continue eating this way. And um, this is probably the last health video that I'll make, um, but I just wanted to let you know what conclusion I had come to after 30 days of doing this quite drastic change in the way I've been eating. Sign me up, um, this is great. So if you're thinking of changing your diet, um, to be more healthy, to include more greens and nutrition, my, my recommendation would be yes, go for it. Try to do what you can to improve how you feel. And one of the things that I've decided after this month is that I think a lot of the time we feel powerless to do anything about our health. Um, you know, we go to the doctor and he gives us a pill or whatever, or maybe we just think, well, this is something that I have to live with. And I'm not a doctor, so I don't know. But I do think that it it's often, I don't like that we're often made to feel powerless, that we can't do anything about it. I don't think that's always true. After 30 days of changing my diet, all I've done is changed my diet and made some changes to my lifestyle and I feel like 95% better. And so I would just encourage you that perhaps, just consider perhaps you're not as powerless to change your, your health, your well-being, your life 
as you might think. So just give it some thought. Anyway, thanks so much for following along this journey with me and I'm excited for what the future holds. So I'll see you then. Bye for now.